Tonight, lawmakers have commissioned a study to look into how hate speech and bullying affects students. It focuses on the classroom and social media. News 8's Bob Wilson has that story. When a major event happens like a racial shooting at a Buffalo supermarket or an 18-year-old traveled to that store specifically to shoot people of color, doctors say it has a measurable effect on students, especially when it plays across all the platforms on TV, online, on social media. It can be a trigger for students. I see that quite a bit where kids are just kind of getting re, a re-injection of, of some racial trauma and racial, racial angst. Lawmakers want to get into the weeds with the research and find out how bullying and hate speech and racial undertones, overt and microaggressions, whether it's a mass shooting or a slur carved into a desk, how it all plays out, especially for the younger students who may not know the meaning of what they're posting or reposting. Kids also like to be test the waters and be transgressive. So they like to, to push the limits a little bit and they know this is an area that will get people upset. They know that it gets their parents mad. They know it's the wrong thing to do. It's completely at odds with their parents' values and their parents are very upset with them and trying to have conversations about them. Uh, trying to explain why it's it's so bad. While parents can work on educating their children to stop racism, it is harder to stop the internet. Avoid the free roaming internet in kids that are uh, anywhere below middle school and even middle school. It really depends on your child. Uh, but basically, I believe in giving a child autonomy and independence with their phone. But some kids do need regular monitoring. Lawmakers say the proposed bill would not only look at the effect hate speech has on children, but also which state programs are working to counter the effects and stop it. In Hartford, Bob Wilson, News 8.